maybe just on double palm size, uh, wood worthier wood from uh, petrified wood from Zimbabwe. I can't think of the region region off the cuff at the moment. This one is quite uh, different to, to some of the others I offered. Yes, there are growth lines here. As you can see, there are certain uh, mild growth lines. But this almost has a, a moss agate-like effect to it. Almost little dendritic formations inside it. The, uh, the, the outer edge, as you can see here, is absolutely natural. So that would have been the wood finish of then, about 30 million years ago. These hail from the Triassic era. The back section would have been sawn, not polished, got little pads stuck onto it, which can be easily removed. And of course, here you have that, that lovely polish, polish finish going all the way around. Of course, to me, this would be the main point of display. If you, if you are able to polish, etc., you could polish the, the back section down as well. But it's pretty, pretty appealing as in, is some may varnish it. I, I don't believe in varnishing because with time, the sun will, will actually chip the varnish and maybe turn it yellow. All the way from Zimbabwe, woodworthy, petrified wood, partially polished, lovely growth lines, and of course, in this case, this dendritic formation, almost like a moss agate-like formation within.